James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. It was just the beginning of a new era in space exploration. And liftoff. The largest space observatory ever built launched beyond our atmosphere back in December. This will be humanity's last view of the James Webb Space Telescope. A $10 billion project on a mission to explore the earliest days of the universe. After you see these images, you'll know that all that time and hard work was well worth it. Congratulations. <laughs> And this week, a new view of our cosmos. NASA unveiling the first batch of color images captured by the Webb telescope, one revealing these little specks of light that have been traveling for more than 13 billion years. This is really at the edge of the universe. Klaus Pontapoden is an astrophysicist working on the Webb team. We knew, of course, that we would have something special. Seeing the detail that we had in those images. There's just gonna be things that, that, we, that we have never seen. But Webb is a mission 30 years in the making. And it almost didn't happen. Back in the 1980s, astronomers began posing the question, what comes after Hubble, the telescope launched in 1990? What followed was decades of hard work, research and construction on Webb, but it exceeded the $8 billion budget cap set by Congress. A House committee even recommended canceling the project in 2011. But in the end, Webb beat the odds and set off on a million mile journey. That's a beauty. Um, and so if you ask me about my favorite image, I think the, the Carina Nebula, what we call the cosmic cliffs image, the absolute uh, intricate detail you see there. He's right. Just compare the resolution in the cosmic cliffs to a similar one captured by Webb's predecessor, Hubble. The telescope's infrared eyes able to pierce right through gas and dust, even detecting water in the atmosphere of a distant planet, a clue for where we could potentially look for signs of life in the future. Where are the conditions for life? Where is it most common? And then you do have to build a bigger telescope to actually find that life. What do you want to make sure people know about uh, what we just saw, about Webb, about what the future holds? Remember, we think this observatory can work for 20 or more years. We only took these first images in three days, getting together uh, 20,000 people working on this over the years uh, to answer those big questions. I think there's something inspirational and very positive in that. And a reminder that we've only scratched the surface of the final frontier. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.